hey man, this place opened up. You guys want to do something together? Then I said, it's like, okay. I went to go check out the spot. Uh -huh. I know where the spot is. I've always, I've seen that spot. Uh -huh. like, man, that's it. That's so this was an off market Just, deal? Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. Dude, okay. this is our very first shop before okay. we before Blank Canvas became okay. Blank Canvas. What up, y'all? Welcome back to Straight to the Bag. Man, this show is um this one's about to be crazy because this was my first barber when I moved to Columbus and he's like watching him grow over the years has been crazy. But yeah, man, I'll let him explain that to y'all. Go ahead, um, introduce yourselves. Tell them what your name is and um, what y'all do. Yo, uh, my name is Chan. Uh, it's my brother Dan. <laughs> but, but, um, so I feel like everyone's a barber nowadays. But, um, how long y'all been doing this? Uh, we've been doing it for man. What year did you graduate? 2012. You, you're probably like 11, 2011. 2011? Yeah, so, 11 so years. 10 years? Yeah. 10, 11 years, yeah. Professionally, right? 10 years, professionally, yeah. yeah Since but, you had your license? Yeah, but that's just a license, but we've been yeah, cutting before that. Yeah, 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 I was going to say, I know um, y'all been cutting here way longer than that, right? Like, y'all kind of just started how most people start. Yeah. Just cutting themselves up and lighting yeah, cutting ourselves, up. cut each other up, yeah. brothers. We even have brothers, like older brothers that we actually learn from, you know what I mean? That's how it all started. Yeah. You know, yeah. they cut our hair and we learn from them and we mm -hmm. cut our own hair and our, you know, each other hair. Yeah. We barely go, go to a barbershop, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um. So I guess if y'all couldn't tell, this is the shop, man. It's, it's beautiful. Like. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Man. Like, so I remember, um. Well, I guess let's just see. Let's just talk about the shop. Like, how y'all doing? Is it doing well? It's doing. It's doing pretty good, man. Um, Jan January is a little slower month for us. Yeah, you know, yeah. We, we, we take in slow time. Okay. You know, you know, it's you. When we have a slow time, we just kind of make the best of it. Basically. Yeah. Um, what's the um? What's the gross of a of this type of business look like? Like, can you even make seven figures? With the barber shop like this? Yeah, it depends on you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hustle? It depends on your hustle. You could be here. That's the thing about barbering professionally. Mm -hmm. Like it's a, it's unlimited. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like depending on how much, uh, how long you want to be here. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? How hard you want to work, you'll you'll see that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just on you. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of a lot of barbers don't realize like this is just a platform. You can become more than. You know, mm. Cutting hair, right? Talk a little bit more about that. What what do y'all mean by that? Yeah, so, uh, like the shirts, my brother, you know, he does all the clothing stuff for it. Uh, right, like branding yourself and like uh, you know, Affinity brand. You know what I'm okay. saying? Affinity sure. brand. Brand dot com. Right, right. Yeah. and like that's a brand where like. I came with myself and like I couldn't use my barber platform, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To reach out for people to other people. And it's like if they support Blank Canvas, they definitely will support my brand too. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? 100%. So it's an easy transition, you know what I'm saying? Circle. Right. Yeah. Right. And also like we have a lot of clientele, you know what I mean? Uh, to come we don't have to go out there and look for people, you know what I'm saying? They come to us. Yeah. That's a good thing about it, you know what I'm saying? It's always been like that? Well, no, because that's another thing, like I came up with the name Blank Canvas because like every haircut is a blank canvas. It's art. Mm -hmm. 100%. So it's funny how that story goes. Like we didn't realize, oh, Blank Canvas BC. Like yeah. being Ben and Chan. Right. We oh, didn't we didn't figure yeah. that out until like, until later, bro. like, like a I year later. <laughs> yeah. Everything just yeah. Like, kind of like fell. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. Everything had for a reason, and it, you know what I'm saying? So like, really yeah. Cool. Like to see the name on a wall at the old shop. Yeah, you know what I mean. Then we just re you know sat there and realized like, oh shit, like B and C is like yeah. been a chance, like shit, yeah, it's just meant to be. You know what I mean? Cause I remember I was like, I was like, man, you get, cause it, my brother found the guy that did our logo. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he was like, man, why? I remember what I'm saying. I was like, man, we don't even have a shop yet. Why you need a logo right now? I was like, dude, just do it. It's gonna fall out of place. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he and did. I see the logo. I'm like, oh shit. Oh sorry. But uh, uh, cause. The C wrapped around the B. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Man, that's um 
that's beyond dope. And he got even like y'all weren't like I want it like that or just yeah. Well, actually, he came up with like what is it a brother's barbershop like yeah. well, brothers I, I brother barbershop. Like I yeah, I didn't. Like, yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, brothers well, barbershop. I didn't, like, yeah. I didn't think that he would like blank canvas. That's why. Oh, uh, okay. Like, yeah, but blank canvas. Like, when you when you say like, blank canvas, I'm like yeah, yeah. Uh, and then yeah. Uh, some of our clients, my clients, you know, mm -hmm. what I mean, like they're brand new. They look it up, like they're like like for example, this guy is like you know uh, a graphic designer. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. he's seen our logo, how clean it is, and not only that, the name, like mm. well, let's, you know, what I mean, like name that kind of track them. Yeah. Easy hooked it up for us. Yeah, Dang. definitely. Yeah, Ben Merka. Yeah, hook at the logo, kept it clean, simple. Yeah, and it kind of like it, you know it resemble us. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And it, I mean, it, it I worked out. It, it worked I out. I see it everywhere now. Yeah, man. And That's what it's all about. Like, yeah. it's the branding. You know what I mean? Yeah. The branding right now. And y'all create such a dope environment in here. Like, yeah. I mean, you see like barbershops like this across the country, but like doing different That's stuff. So close to home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you did this for the city, like Yeah, and that's the thing about like Columbus, like Columbus Girl City nearby, like in general, like mm -hmm. not a lot of places have that, you know what I mean? I mean we don't have that here, so just to bring that in mm -hmm. and like something new, you know what I mean, and different and then be consistent in the quality work, you know what I mean? Like it's a full circle. And now everybody else is look at them like, man, I want to be a barber too. Now you start seeing a lot of younger Asian barbers and you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we flew a lot, influence a lot of people that we don't I know bet. about until they come and they're like, you know, like, oh, I'm, mm -hmm. I heard about you. I've been following you guys. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That right there, it means everything. You know what I mean? Because yeah. we know when we do our, our thing, we just know we influence other people. You know what I'm saying? So let's, um, let's take it back to the beginning. Like, how did y'all start doing this? Because obviously you ain't start like um, yeah. this. I would say, man, um, <clears throat> how I started, man, like I said before, um, cutting each other hair, me and my brothers, you know what I mean? Um, never took it serious. Never really took it serious. Never really charged people. Just kind of like doing it. Never, mm -hmm. never took it serious, man, until I would say until like I got tired of like working for other people from, you know, other, other job, restaurant, this and that. I'm like, you know, it's always in the back of my mind, like, yeah, I'm going to barber school. But then it was like the last, you know, last resort. Like, and then I was like, fuck it, man. Like, just, all right, let's go. Get, get my license, do what I like to do, and get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And ever since then, never look back, man. And I, I wish I would have done it a long time ago, but mm -hmm. you live, you learn. And then the timing of it with like social media start blowing up, you know what I mean? Instagram and all that stuff, which is easier to kind of promote ourselves, our haircuts. You know what I mean? And I look at that like, you know, everything happened for a reason. You know? Yeah. So, so how did you, um, did you know right off the bat, like, this is it for me? Like, the first time I cut hair, I just, this is it. Um, or how did you figure that I, out? I, I feel like once you start getting compliments, like, man, you should do this. Like, you should, man, you should charge more. Okay. Yeah. I think that, that, that motivates everything. Mm. Like, once you start, you know, you can't, you can't take away from yourself so much. You know? Yeah. Because so, then it's, that's genuine. Like, yeah. Right. You know, right. you're not. Kind of separate from, that was the hard part about coming into, like, opening a business. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people... You know, you, we want to give free handouts all the time, but mm -hmm. how can we support our family? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, um, starting out for you, Chan, what was that like? Same thing? Dude, it was, it was crazy. I was going to be a nail tech. <laughs> <laughs> like nail that, tech. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was, <laughs> that was me. And like, nail tech, yeah. Oh, yeah. But the, yeah, the thing, like for me, um, I, I didn't <laughs> know my dad. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't even know this story, but like, well, nothing wrong with it. Though, no, it's you know not. What I'm it no, is. No, no it's. I mean, I know Netflix. Right. Yeah, they make great money. Oh yeah. But um, yeah. so I didn't know my dad growing up, but like I met him and he owns a nail salon. So I'm like, okay, he's just making bread. He's first time I met him, he had a Cadillac Escalade. Like I thought this man was a pimp, <laughs> and I was just like, I moved up here when I was 18, and he was like, all right, you got to get your nail tech license. I was like, hell no, I'm not yeah. doing that. Um, I started doing it and I was like, people pulling in six figures? Yeah. Like what? Yep. Yeah, that blew my mind. But um, so you didn't become one, why? Well, well, so in high school, I even did a senior project about it, man. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you have to do one big project. I was like, man, I did a nail technician. Mm. I was like, man, I'm passing flying colors. I was like, man, after I graduated out of high school, I was like, no, nah, no more nail technician. Wait, wait, what? You had your whole license? No, no. I, oh, I was gonna I, say. I, I was going. I was proceeding that way. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. Cosmetology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the cosmetology, 
a lot of people don't know is like they do everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hair, nails. I mean, they're, that's just their the scope of practice thing. is pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then I told my wife that, and she was like, "You're not doing nails. You're not holding girls' hands. <laughs> don't leave them. You hold them. <laughs> you know, Bro, that's, that's crazy." And, uh, she was like, no, just stick to barbering like you wanted to do. So mm -hmm. after we got married, I was like, man, I need to go to school. Mm. Uh, went to school, and then a year, uh, a couple months later, my brother started too. Mm. And then, um, yeah, we, we went to barber school together. Mm -hmm. How old were we all about this yeah. time? I was like, I was 25. Five, four, okay. 25, 24, okay. 25. You okay. were 20, yeah. 27. 27. Yeah. See, and I don't want that to go over people's head because like a lot of people get started at, like late 20s and they think yeah, they're so, late. Yeah. And they, they think they're, okay. yeah, exactly. Everybody, All right. has, everybody has different timing. timing. Yeah. yeah. Like, right. Everybody yeah. lives a different life. Later, everything will click. Right. Right. Yeah. You just yeah. got patience. Mm -hmm. You just got to, yeah. it's that passion. It's that passion that drive. When you figure out that that passion that drive, that's what what makes everything easier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got that vision. Like for for us, like in the beginning, I had that vision of one day opening together. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But you did? oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't you. <laughs> Look at it now. Look at you it now. No, 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 no. Yeah, but like, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like that. You know, like and then kind of work backwards man when you work yeah. backwards it's yeah. just like you have some kind of guidance of where you're going you know what i'm saying i don't think there's one way to do it but i think that is a big i operate like that like i right. see you i have that vision, vision where you want to be at the I end right there, feel it yeah 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 then you just work your way backward yeah. like okay what can i do to get there that's that's exactly but how some I, people are just uh day by day just hustling they yeah. just like don't really worry too much about right. it right another big important it's also like cliche like goals so important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like you know have a short term, short -term long term yeah. whatever short -term man -term. any goals yeah yeah like man like having this it, it brought so much opportunity you know yeah. house, you know and stuff like that mm -hmm. that you know we was you're self-employed so now how do we do that but, you know we just gotta just grind it out and then just one goal at a time mm -hmm. you know get your paper get the numbers right yeah right? everything takes it's a process yep take so, it day by um, day but at the same time you you know what your end result everything takes you know? a process yeah. yeah you just gotta trust the process trust the know? process trust your craft and that's the thing too trust your craft you know what, what was y'all's um goal coming out of barber school you had this like big goal of owning the shop from coming out of barber school i mean no 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 not out because i i feel like we wanted to work i definitely we both knew we wanted to work <laughs> elsewhere to new how can to have that mentality how can we make the shop better mm. what can we do what can like the shop that you guys were going to work yeah, at no no yeah exactly like, okay what how nothing wrong with the shop that i came from like, yeah yeah i went to longview barbershop right. the barbershop in uh, in columbus Ohio. for real i didn't that's know that where I met you. yeah yeah i didn't so, know that was that. that's crazy yeah, that's like the oldest shop but you know I, you learn from every every barber around you mm -hmm. you, know, you are who you work around right 100 percent so, yeah, they shape and mold you. Right? Yeah, shape and mold him. Right? Yeah, like okay. after I graduated, I went to um, Worthington Barbershop. Like right after I graduated, yeah. Like it's, I mean, the money was good. You know what I mean? Do you think it matters where you go, or just that? You yeah, go but look, I get to that point. Like for okay. example, the Worthington Barbershop where I went to, I went there for like a month or two, maybe about maybe maybe a month. You know, money was good. It was busy and all that stuff, but it was just like it's a different kind of clientele. It's more like mm. an older clientele. Yeah. Basic haircut. You know what I mean? No fade. No creativity. Mm -hmm. It just kind of took away the passion of like I want to be. I'm, I'm just coming out from barber school. You know mm. what I'm saying? And I, I know what I like. I like the you fades. Want to learn more. Yeah, I want to learn yeah. more than something that I could relate to. You know, mm. it's a lot of older people, so I can't really relate to them as much. But yeah. I learned from that too, but at the same time, it's like, man, I want, it's, it's, it wasn't for me yet. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't for me. So, in your heart and stuff. Right. So that's why I went to uh, campus, uh, Texas Barbershop, and uh, okay. learn a lot over there, the younger crowd, and be more creative. And uh, it's a fade. You know? I just want, want to learn the fade and the, especially, you know, just the style nowadays, right. you know, the, the younger style, you know what I mean? And, uh, right. So y'all doing pretty good now. Y'all um, coming out of barber school. What was? Did y'all hit a low point, or did you have a super low point? Uh, uh, I wouldn't say a low point. 
but a learning point. Mm. Yes. Right. I want. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. that's okay. a good or, that's a good way to say it. Point. So what was I mean, the biggest low point one? Is I struggle. Like, we didn't struggle. No, the low point is trying to find that, find that balance. Mm. Work, Between work, family, okay. true. Oh yeah, because you were, you were already yeah. married. You have kids yet? Yeah. I mean, not, well, not after till later. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that that was my low point. So yeah. I can explain that. Like you know, just trying to find that balance. Okay. What? How? How much time can I put in this? How much time mm. can I? You know. You think there's a perfect one? Perfect balance? Yes. Okay. Yeah, being a barber because you get to control your schedule yeah. and stuff like that. Right. You know what I mean? Which is until that we got our true. own shop. You know what I mean? That, that, that definitely helps out a lot. Being you know self, you know self-employed and having control of your schedule and stuff like that. I think that was a, a, the biggest learning thing of being to being a, a, a good role model, like you know mm. somebody as a whole. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how did y'all um? How did y'all come out of that learning point then, like, and put it to work? Like, what did y'all really do, like, day to day actions and stuff like that? Just kind of, I just feel like, just kind of like, how would we make things better? Mm -hmm. You know, it always started with. Community. That goes. That goes to like when I was at where that's in barbershop, right? Then yeah. I went down to campus. That's when he was in Clint, Clintonville, uh -huh. on the street, on High Street. I was on the other end of campus, you know, the campus on High Street as well. But like. Mm -hmm. The learning point was like we kind of we've been there about I've been there about four and a half years. You've been there about five, four and a half five, years too. Five. five years. So we kind of learn, you know, you know, like learn from the the shop owner what to do, what not to do. You know, what I mean, we didn't like certain things that they they did, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we trying to make it better, basically. Right, make yeah. it better. But yeah. then that's we can't have we can't really say much because that's their shop. Right. So when we after. You know, I mean, after that four or five years and coming to the shop together, and that's when everything like we, you know, appointments only, and we just it just picked up right away, man, because we know what to do, what not to do. The first month of us opening our first shop, our first location, I mean, um, we it was slow, like you know, it's not like picture perfect. Mm -hmm. we, it was so, not every clientele. Any barbers could tell you, like, oh yeah, that. 100% of your content is not going to follow. Yeah, so right. convenience is hard to beat. Right. You know, for coming from Clinville. Coming yeah. from Clinville campus. Campus, yeah. yeah. You're not, you, you can't expect the best. Right, right. right. Like someone to drive 20 minutes yeah. out of the city. So to come. The, when we first did it, like we first opened, we did certain days walk-in and certain days appointments. Our appointment mm. days was a lot better because it was more convenient for our customers to come in and not have to wait long right because they're driving 20 minutes okay i see what you're yeah. saying yeah so our appointment days is a lot our, our, our way booked compared to the walking days yeah the walking days uh we was like you know what after yeah time, we had like 10 20 yeah. guys waiting in a little as uh really? waiting yeah. area it was just like not the vibe yeah the yeah vibe, you know what after so that, you kind of made the clientele off. adjust to what y'all wanted. Right, yeah. right. Because okay. it's hard to change. It's it's hard to change in the future. Like, cause, like, if you want something now, yeah, keep it that way. Think about what you want, in the, like, from in the future. Yeah, and then just adjust it now rather than having to change later. Later, when they're accustomed like, trying to, to like plan adjust. for it, and yeah, yeah. So many customers are <clears throat> so used to the same. Mm -hmm. you know, being a regular schedule kind of mm -hmm. thing, some people don't accept change well. Yeah, yeah. It's, so you had to like almost tell them what to do, yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. But the same. Like, or, or, no, not tell them what to do, but just try to paint a picture in their head to where how we want to run things. Mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Um, but at the same time, it chases like you know certain people away that doesn't fit their schedule or fit the mm -hmm. system. So we're creating a new kind of clientele that's fit. You know their system and their schedule and, their, and the pricing too. Yeah, um, did y'all have a big drop off when y'all made that change or? No, because it would happen quick. I mean, it was just. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because we did only like one or two weeks. Try to do certain days walk in, and then we was like, you know what? Yeah. Just do just do straight straight yeah, appointment. You know. It was it was crazy. I remember uh, when we we found that location our location because. Looney, uh, Fusion Tattoo, he's the owner of uh, Fusion Tattoo. Mm -hmm. Good for, like, we've known him for a long time, like, basically, like, childhood, basically. Yeah. And he was like, 
hey man, this place opened up. You guys want to do something together? Then I said, it's like, okay. I went to go check out the spot. Uh -huh. I know where the spot is. I've always, I've seen that spot. Uh -huh. like, man, that's it. That's so this was spot. an off market Just, deal? Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. Dude, okay. This is our very first shop before okay. we before Blink Canvas became okay. Blink Canvas. Fusion was next door. Yeah. Of, it wasn't at that. Oh, so, so it wasn't at the spot that y'all yeah. were at for your first shop. At that time, he was next door, and where we was at was a hair salon. Mm, yeah. Okay. So we were coming hang out with Looney when he was next door, and we kind of looking and look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we kind of like. So we kind of seen this hair salon next door. It was like, man, one day, you know what I'm saying? That'd be nice for, you know, to get That's that shot. So before y'all yeah. didn't even like, y'all were like, I want this spot. You were just right. like, be, you just kind of like, you see it? It would be nice. Like, yeah, poking in there. Like, yeah, like, that would be nice. Never busy in there. Right, never yeah. busy. Yeah. It's never busy. Sunday, yeah. never busy. Nobody in there. That's crazy. And yeah. like, uh, and then Looney went down to Central, like Central uh, on uh, Harrisburg, like towards yeah, Central. He, okay. So he had like a... He left that spot. Oh. He had to move to Cali. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He moved so to Cali. History, long story, history with him is he moved to Cali out of that fusion. He, he sold that shop, moved to Cali, came back, and then he got a to place to Zettler next to Zettler. Uh huh. And then beverage dog. Yeah, and he's cool with he cool with. He's really you know, had a good relationship. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's been there for a while. Yeah. So, so he, he contacted him and then he was like, you know what? Hey man, you want this place? Like, let's, team yeah. let's team up. Yeah. I was like, okay, bet. let me go and make a phone call to um, the barber board. Yeah. And see if it's okay. So they said, as long as it's two separate entrants, mm. it's good. Yeah. A lot of people ask and wonder, like, how'd you guys do it? It's right. Like two shop and a barber shop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we got there and. Um, and they compromised each other too. Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like, art. Dude, I mean, yeah. So that's a good combination together. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, Tattoo and haircut. That's probably one of art. the first times I've seen it. Yeah. And I'm from Atlanta, so like I see like I feel like I see like innovative stuff everywhere. So when I peep it, I'm like, oh, that's dope. Like I'm gonna, yeah. that's like a that's something that's just gonna do well. Yeah. And, and it it helps us a lot, man. Oh, it helped him a lot too. So yeah. like being there for five years, four and a half. Like, mm -hmm. man, they compromise each other, and our clients go get a tattoo from him, him or his uh, artist, and vice versa, you know? Yeah. So, it really helped each other out and grow, and now we are, you know, he's expanding and having more artists yeah, in it, it in the same location, it and was, it was a vice big, versa. It was a big change for him, let alone change for us. Why you say that? You know, well, like, when you get a tattoo, you go in there, your know, shirt's off, blah, 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 yeah. and then you mix. Not in a bad way. <laughs> not in a bad way. Not, yeah. not, not like, I mean, like, men. Like, yeah. Know, or what? They, they get tattooed. They're expecting like you know walking around, you know, church, and then uh -huh. you know, kind of like kind of. It's, it was. It's just different vibe. Different. Different, different vibe. Yeah. Like then you have a barbershop. It's like family friendly. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, kids playing with toys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was a learning. It was a learning experience, yeah. but in a good way. Like it's. It, it, was, it was a good learning experience. Like the best view. We wouldn't have done it without him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now when we're. It's like going mm -hmm. to college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Experience is so expensive. Yeah. And yeah. he said, talking to him, Looney, man, like he said, he learned a lot from us too. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like just learn a lot. Like now that we're gone, it's like it's a different vibe. You know what I mean? Just oh, a I different bet. vibe. Like not in a bad way, but just like. Especially when those are like your people, and you yeah, get to like you know what I mean. The homies, like he sometimes, I mean, he he like to come to, like even though he's not working, like you know, on schedule, but he just like to come and like chill, like you know, yeah. what I mean? just, it, it makes him want to come, like right, you know, what I'm saying, go to work, like you know. So, so how long were y'all there for? Five, four, five almost five years. Yeah, almost five years. Okay. Yeah, almost five years. Okay. And then we hit, yeah, when we came here, it was like the last couple months, and then we hit our five years, you know, anniversary here. Mm. Yeah, we found yeah, because July uh -huh. we moved we, we moved into this new location uh, in J July seventeenth. July seventeenth, uh, twenty. So it was two months okay. before we hit our five year anniversary. Okay. Yeah. So it's like I feel like that, and we didn't plan it, bro. Like yeah, it was like just all of this stuff. Like I just told my brother like the vision that he knew he wanted it too. We both wanted it at the same time. Yeah, like, how was it gonna work? Like how right. was it gonna move Y'all weren't like researching on loop nah, like, I mean, yeah, we just kind of like 
actually, we were supposed to look at the space next door. And that was, yeah. we didn't know this was oh, uh, available, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like this? Uh, nah, we gotta show you the before and after. It was like a big wall over here. Well, the other, the, the, the place that we was gonna get mm -hmm. was an urgent care. It was just, you know, uh, other office space. Like, yeah. Uh, we was gonna knock on the wall, but then they were like, you want a bigger spot? I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, this Premier Audio building. So yeah. I was like, Premier Audio moved about a month ago. I was like, I was like uh, no way. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, we came and looked at this place and supposed to look at the other one. Mm -hmm. We didn't get a chance to look at that one. We were like, yeah, we want this space. It's bigger, <laughs> way bigger. Yeah. Well, it got that garage door, so yeah, it's it it perfect. The garage door. Like, the first location we was at, that's what we're, like, I, I kind of came up with the idea, like, of the garage kind of rustic kind mm, of thing yeah so with this having a garage door i was like that's perfect like, it's funny how mm. that worked man because i remember like years ago you're like man a barbershop with a garage door yeah. I heard, the next thing you know it's here because i seen a it was in florida it's floyd's barbershop right yeah it was like the okay it was like a garage like a gasoline like a like an auto mechanic gas place with the garage door yeah, yeah. yeah. and there's graffiti and it was, it was dang dope. that's dope yeah. Yeah. it's a pretty big name barbershop yeah Bit. I and, then, and he got that idea from that, and then, then I was like, man, it'd be nice to have one here. And then, and then it was like perfect. Yeah. Like, y'all have a whole team here now, right? Yeah. It's not got, just y'all. Uh, yeah, six, seven barbers now. Well, I guess. Oh, um, seven, yeah. But your seven. your first barber shop, that's where y'all really started becoming like helping other barbers build their craft. And yeah. Well, I'm starting with us too. Yeah. What, it, and then, well, we only could fit four, four stations, so four barbers total over there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of, I mean, like, um, hiring a new barber, man, like, when it was just me and Chan, we was just like, man, it happened so quick where, like, like the new barber have to, we wasn't sure how to go about it, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, you know, they got to have some kind of, like, Similarity, some I mean, good quality, work ethic, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But but then Isaac, the most I thought finding barber was the most difficult part. That's yeah, my mind. I yeah, good barber. Be, no, I thought it to be hard. I mean, yeah. we can always find barbers, but that's the hard. good barber and the one like, you know, willing to learn. I thought it was gonna be hard, but then like we got lucky because mm -hmm. after we've been we been open for three months, three, 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 four. I don't know, um, how long was just it was just me and you cutting? Not even a year. I was just about like oh, so six for a minute, months. It was just y'all two at Blink Camp. Yeah, we at started off spot. with just two. Yeah, and then um, and then um, Isaac. Isaac. Uh, he, he was a customer. At first. El Chavo. El Chavo. Shout out to El Chavo. <laughs> and yeah, he came in and he was like, "Man, I like I like the vibe. You guys remind me of like an LA kind of vibe barbershop." Yeah, yeah. yeah. We get that a lot. So we get that a lot. Yeah, yeah. and that's that. what makes him. You know, it came up and like. One of you know, he was still in barber school, and he was like, oh, "Man, I want to be here." Okay. And I think he said that if we would have turned him down, he would have moved to Cali. You know what I'm saying? But Dang. yeah, I'm glad. Um, and then here or gonna go to Cali, but his parents didn't want him to go to Cali. <laughs> right. So it all worked out, man. Everything happened for a good reason, and uh, okay, man. So uh, how did um did y'all know right away when y'all met him? Like no, I mean he slowly came in every every other day, just kind of check up on us, get his yeah. haircut, talk to us. See, that's the thing. Like yeah, he came in there, you know, talk talk to us, and like he was, you know, just doing it the right way. Like if you want to be somewhere, you go out your ways, talk, you know what I mean, create a relationship. And then right then and there was like, yep, that's the next guy. You know what I mean? I remember him telling me he was like, cause he before he graduated. Another guy wanted to. He told this, like, "Hey, man, they might, they might hire you. Won't you?" He even offered that spot. He was like, "Go and they, they like you, you know. That's right. cool." But he was like, his buddy went back to him and was like, "Hey, no, man, they turned me down. They want you. <laughs> <laughs> they want you." <laughs> they want you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's something about. I have nothing wrong with the other barber. It's just, uh -huh. you know, right. it's just the the vibe, the vibe, like, the relationship, know, man. Yeah. Like. I, I want, into cars and the same music and this and that do the same thing we're doing you know, know what i mean like we got in. a mesh like brothers like, right the relationship like you, you don't like your sister's boyfriend why like you know what I mean? yeah like, yeah, yeah. Like okay you gotta kind of find like okay i like that guy i'm not like i found him on tinder and yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you gotta you gotta have a vibe like, yeah know, and, it, for, if you only and he fit our vibe yeah if you're only doing it for the money you're not like you're not gonna yeah it's not gonna last long 
Right, so man, that's, that's big. Like it's family, like, you know, you can't just like force it. You gotta yeah. be patient. And then he came, and it he came to out. us. Yeah, it and came to us. He came to I, us. He brought. He helped us build our brand too. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because he helped. Because our goal moving on to like um, our uh, fourth barber Brian, he he brought. They, they went to high school together. Yeah, high school, oh, and then went to barber barber yeah. school together. So so, connection. so it was like Dang. a domino effect. Right. And, so like it's like we 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 graduated before them obviously and went for years so yeah. like I don't, don't want the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> right so like you know him knowing brian it's like all right cool okay. now he put the bugs in it you know the bugs in the ear where like yeah. okay we can keep him in mind and then he graduated it's like all right perfect because he's just like isaac you know what yeah. I mean? same work ethic and everything and then we had to tap off there because we only could do so much you know what i mean it's only four and then yet the tattoo yeah right and that's the thing like i knew yeah, oh, only yeah, four. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Bigger, but, okay. You know. And that's the thing. Like I knew, you know, what I mean, like I appreciate our time there, and like I knew eventually we're gonna have to like get a bigger wow. space. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because sure. our business is we got to keep it to the man, which is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's why we got this space. You know, I mean, to keep it to the man, get more barbers, and you mm-hmm. know, keep up with the clientele. You know, keep everybody happy and then we was getting complaints like man it's hard to get in this and that like man like it's a good problem yeah you know, we're exactly. doing something right sure. you know what i mean everybody do, be busy and have that complaints then not busy and have somebody you know barber sitting there you know what i'm saying not do nothing to have send somebody off to somebody another another place to get messed up right i don't want them to come to our shop right you know and you get the same cut Mm. you know yeah. we get to see each other so yeah. our vibe is so 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 different like my guys go to his chair his guys go to my chair so mm-hmm. I'm not right go and hide and stare right at the guy and we're okay with that why you ain't yeah i know a lot, that's a big it's, thing it's a big and we're okay thing. with it's so that common. it's so common because like i don't know like, i don't know why barber, other barbers do that this is because like i don't i don't get mm-hmm. it either mm-hmm. yeah I don't know. yeah it's like your clientele like you know like ah i, I feel like i'm cheating on you this and that then they'll go to another barber they don't want to look at the other barber face mm-hmm. like it's like dude like you have a lot like uh, us for example we have a lot of clientele where it's like i know you ain't gonna sit around and wait for our, our schedule to open up so yeah go yeah. to one of these guys you guys seen how they cut you guys sit on a chair in our chair look over there and see how they cut so you know yeah. they're doing they're here for a reason you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and they know they do a good job so i'd rather have you guys go to one of these guys you know what i mean instead of going somewhere else you know what i'm saying That's, and they appreciate that they was yeah. like man that, it's, 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 it's so different like over here we, we help each other out like we push clients to the other guys and mm-hmm. and, and help build each other yeah we got to build them up some, sometime like up, like barbers don't don't do that they, they're too busy about themselves and yeah because you know helping up it goes a long way for sure and barbers don't want to teach each business. other they don't, it's all a competition you know all these other barbers even this even these younger guys you know aiden and I, you know, he said it for example he's like man i'll go to a different barber shop it's like a competition man it's like, like no like, one's they don't, chopping it like their family and everyone just like it's just themselves. like no help like no help like don't want to like teach or nothing you know what i'm saying I feel like that should change like they just being humble and just helping each other just mm-hmm. to go so long i mean for sure and I then think. yeah i mean we did it one by one like we we got isaac first we built him up and he was busy right yeah and now we had to, we, we need another barber so that's when brian, mm-hmm. came, in. brian came in you know okay. what I mean? and then after that brian's busy he was like shit we need a bigger space and now we're here and that's when we got aiden you know mm. what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy like for guys that's like getting out of like barber school it's mm-hmm. not gonna happen like your weekend is gonna be booked up the most Mm. It's like the fastest, right? So just say Monday. So Monday through Sunday, right? Yeah. Your Saturday, it's, it's backwards. Remember earlier we talked about yeah, yeah. yeah. If your Saturday is booked up, that's a good sign, and yeah. then that will overflow to Friday. Okay. And then when Friday's full, that will overflow to Thursday. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that is Saturday. that is true. That makes sense. So if they can't get in on a, on a Thursday, they'll go to to Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So you know, kind of. But then that yeah. that's sweet how it works though but you know i mean that's true because i think that's um that's exactly how like any good business grows though like just watching y'all like even hearing y'all everything mm-hmm. is like it's not like you're in your head about things and mm-hmm. you're trying to do this and that you just mm-hmm. like 
do things from like your heart everything's organic right. and everything is genuine it's not like i don't feel like anything is like pre-planned or like right. y'all trying to set anything up right. a certain way yeah it's authentic man it's like it's original like you know what i mean it's never to me man it's never about the money man it's the money will come you know what i mean yeah. just trust your craft just do good on your craft be a good barber and be consistent the money's gonna come you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying and now you gotta keep the you just gotta build that relationship to keep that money coming you know what i'm saying yeah. and then i mean the quality of work is all it takes is one haircut you know what i mean you want to bring them back right it takes yeah. one new haircut man yeah. you know what i mean and then you create a relationship even in the beginning when i first started man like i, I would be like I ain't the greatest. I wasn't the greatest at the beginning, but at the same mm -hmm. time, it's just trying to keep build up that relationship. You know what I mean? They're gonna mm -hmm. come back. So when they come back, that's when you start getting better. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm familiar with this hair. Mm -hmm. and come back again. I'm okay. You know what I mean? Get better and better. You're gonna see the same people every week, two weeks, three weeks, or whatever. Yeah. And that's where you build up and you learn. You know what I mean? To do it quicker and better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So, eighteen year old you, like, what would you say to them? And you kind of, uh, and let's say at 18, you know, this is what you want to do, but you have no idea. Like you feel like you might even be like, you might not even be good at talking to people and you might have, you might be doubting everything. Like, what would you, what would you tell them? I would tell them if you, you know, if 18 year old man, I would, you know, honestly, I would tell myself like, man, just, just go and do your, like, just, it's not the end of the road. So you mm. fail. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, Keep going. 100%. Yeah, man, everybody's going to fail. You learn from failure. 100%. Yeah. I feel like that's the best way to learn. Keep failing, man, no, because you're going to learn. Keep failing. I mean, don't get, don't keep getting but, <laughs> but at the same time, like, uh, all it takes is that yeah. one, that one uh, breakthrough, bro. Look, you know what I'm saying? An experience, like, you know, a customer came in there the other day, and then, you know, something happened, like, and it was upset. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, and then uh, we addressed it, solved everything. It was fine. And then, I, in my head, I was like, I, at first I was like, man, I was kind of upset. But then I'm like, man, this is cool. I'll drink to this. Yeah, it's a learning experience. Like, yeah, what is what, what? If somebody come in storming like that or something, for say something happened, um, how am I gonna handle it different? So, so, so a dude came in pissed off or something. Yeah, uh, he came in like he was just upset. Something happened. But, okay. Like, that's a whole other story but then, like the point is like experiencing like okay like i'll drink to that something happened it's okay I, we failed at something well I, now you learn how to deal with it i learned to learning how to deal with it is the most important part like mm. how am i going to handle it next time yeah you know, how, how can i fix it okay how yeah. can i address it? it's going to be a learning process you know going back you know to that question man like like it's it's a learning process, man. Like you gotta have that passion, man. Being an eighteen year old, like man, like I would say, man, just have that passion, man. That drive, man. I mean, you know, some people don't realize it or don't don't have it mm -hmm. until they have and then they know what they want to <clears throat> do. You know what I'm saying? How did you um? Did you know? Like how did could you? How did you even like figure that out? You ain't like worry about like anything else, or you're just like I'm just. This makes me feel good. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I think that's a hundred percent. Well, I look at it like, man, like, like I said before, man, like, I never took it serious. Like, cutting hair was never really serious. It was always in the back of my mind. Yeah. And then I find it just kind of like, you know what, why not, you know, God give me this gift, I have this talent, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Why not go to barber school, you know, get my license, do uh, what I like to do and get paid for it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's like the American dream, man, is just doing what you like to do and uh, get paid, get paid doing what you like to do, right? For sure. For you sure. Know? I mean, y'all have fun in here for real, like. But then, uh, like, like trusting the craft, like I was kind of quiet in the beginning of my career of being a barber because right. I'm just soaking everything in and observing and learning. You know what I mean? I wasn't really like that talkative type. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. like, I was just so focused on my craft. That's that's the that's I would say that's the first half of my career, just trying to get better, better, better. I was a quiet one when I first worked there. So. <laughs> yeah. Then, like, yeah. you know, like. And then you become better. I became better where like, you know what I mean? Everything becomes second nature to me. Like, you know what I mean? You just everything's so rep repetition, you know what I mean? Just like anything you do, everything is all repetition, right? Yeah. You get better and better the more you do it. 
you know what I'm saying? And then eventually it just became second, you know, second nature where like, you know, conversating and talking, I could do it at the same time, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, now and it's like easy to talk. Cause yeah, already, now it's easy, easy to talk and do it, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know what I'm going to do anyways, because I've already focused and mastered that, you know what I mean? Now mm -hmm. let's add uh, the, the, the conversation. Now it's deeper, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not just more than a haircut. Yeah. It's more than just a haircut. This is a relationship now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The therapy, you know what I mean? The conversation. So, you I, know mean, I mean, it's for real an experience in here, and I love it. Even one of the guys I train comes to y'all, and he, um, I mean, he was just like, one weekend, I forgot what it was. He was just like, yeah, I'm about to go to Blank Canvas and watch a fight. I was like, huh, you about to go to the barbershop and watch a fight? Yeah. He was like, yeah, what they, they drinking, having yeah, fun. Yeah, man, man. It's, it's a family thing. You know, he, like, they, they, like, to hear that from a clients too, man, like a lot of clients, like, man, it's like family here, man. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? The vibe, even the kids. Hey, the you say what's up to you ain't sitting in my chair. You sitting over there. That's cool. Who you, who you getting cut by? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I was like, oh, oh, good, man. That's how it's a family. Yeah, mm -hmm. That goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize until Clance was like, man, like, it doesn't matter. Like, he was like, you know, no matter who walking that door, you gotta say what's up, and it's like the, the family vibe, you know what I mean? And then I didn't realize that because that's what we've been doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's that customer service, the hospitality, you know what I mean? And then I'm yeah. like, man, damn, it didn't it hit man. me. Like, appreciate, you know, I appreciate that. You know, the the one thing like we had to learn was like, you know, I we love music. Yeah. We love music. Oh man. Yeah, music set the vibe. Uh huh. It, you know, it's a learning curve. You know, we had to find. Like, it took us years. But we, but 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 we, vibe. I feel like we do good though with the music. Well, yeah, yeah. And the comp customers even are like, man, I appreciate you guys. Right. It's like, I was like, what's up? Why? And like, I mean, not just because your haircut. You know, you guys. It's kid friendly. There's no cursing. Right. We try yeah. to keep it. You know, I mean, it's yeah. hard, so hard. It's so yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes ludicrous and Lil John. <laughs> so it's like when you hear Lil John voice, you got a brother. So <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Yeah, it always happens. It always, it always <laughs> happened. It always <laughs> happened when they. Like, so smooth. Yeah, no customer. Right, yeah. Right. Kids walk in. right when the kid walk in, <laughs> f bomb. Like, <laughs> like God damn. <laughs> Like sure, yeah, right. exactly. And then we feel bad, but we change it, and they appreciate that. Like, okay, I'm glad it's you guys. Just that extra mile you go. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Just yeah. caring about how they really feel. Yeah, like, you know, we just try. About us, like, yeah. Are y'all naturally like that, or y'all learned that from someone, or how? Did, nah, man. Like, how get that? we're just kind of like the. I don't know, man. It just yeah. we we got a big family, so. We got a lot of friends, you know, the homies and all that, and then kind of like trying to set the vibe. Like we see people all the time, mm. you know, we're around people all the time. So just really just trying to set the vibe, you know, like. Mm -hmm. So I, we have kids now, so I I can't, you know, it, it helps. When yeah, you yeah. Kids, like, you, know, you understand. Yeah, I understand more. So I think that helps me out. Yeah. A lot more being a parent, it helps for me sure. So much to okay, what should I? listen to what do i want my kids to see me at mm. when they come in here you don't want them to you know hear f-bombs this and that because they're going to go home and say that yeah you know exactly I mean? so, so my kids our kids like helped us keep us whole like true, true. Our wives, yeah. you know yeah oh so, yeah i mean yeah having our own kids it kind of help us with that, too, oh, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah kind of try to set the vibe because we if I was, you know, didn't have any kids, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't come to my mind, like, okay, you know, music, this and that, mm -hmm. F-bomb, this kids, and that. Kids definitely help, you know, like, you know, we, we're, we're talking about us, but like, without, you know, sacrificing wife to, you know, yeah. it, it, it all comes from home. Yeah, so you're like, what would I want in my house? Yeah. And then you yeah. put it out. Yeah, that's, so, that's know, beautiful. What the, they help a lot, you know, like when, we're here like you know hanging stuff up uh -huh. it takes time yeah so it's so like you gotta give put in that time and then you give that you try to give that time back yeah and then that's why remember the first day we were supposed to open mm -hmm. we were supposed to like uh we didn't go home till like 3 a.m yeah next day, man, I told dang them, what man we was here till 3 a.m put try because we opened normal day for the other guys to come in I was like, I'm sorry, man. I had to take off. I went fishing. <laughs> my kids. Wow. Like, I went fishing, bro. Yeah. I went fishing with my kids. But you got to get that time back. To yeah, you yeah. got to have balance. Let's go back to what he was saying. You got to have balance. That's like that low part of like, you know, doing what we like to do. We don't mind being here 24 7, but at the same time, it's like. Yeah, you know with the I mean? family. That's a big thing. You got to balance everything with. out with the family, man. Um, like, especially like, I mean, I feel like we're, we all have the same mindset. Like, we're like, we'll do anything to get it done. Right. Exactly. But. 
you don't sometimes you forget like yeah they're at home and maybe you have one wife and you have more than one kid and now more it's like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah like that yeah. She's, <laughs> your wife's at home and she got yeah. two kids and now it's two on one defense and she yeah. can't like handle exactly it. You go home, you're like, exactly <laughs> exactly you know I mean? exactly yeah. you know they they have a lot of to do with our success oh yeah you know, like, yeah you, we got to give them props like, it goes yeah. a long way man so how did you yeah. I mean, I'm sure they probably complain a few times. Yeah. Like, oh, so yeah. how do you like oh, you, deal with that? How do you get that relationship right? Like, compromise. You got to compromise. So, yeah, that is true. Ooh, that's a good yeah. tattoo, pick and choose your battle. <laughs> yeah, pick and choose your battle, man. Pick and choose but, your you know, battle. Compromise, <clears throat> man. Even though I learned this recently, like about a year ago, like, you mean you can? Somebody said something to me. Like, you can pick and choose your battle, but if you hold it in, you 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 choose, you keep on choosing to lose so much like how there's there's no communication you have yeah. to sometimes yeah. you have to win like not all the time right you can't let her win all the time i'm sorry yeah, true, true. <laughs> but like you have to there's some kind of communication where okay this is an i have to say something yeah because yeah sometimes you have to step around mm -hmm. and, and you know some, sometimes girls you know they like that yeah i don't know like you know like, no, i mean i know my girl goes like back that. to having balance you know you gotta balance the same thing with work and mm -hmm. the relationship at home and this and that yeah um one last thing i want to uh touch on that picture what is that what does that mean to y'all oh, yeah. this is oh, where it all started right here this is a root my mom that's your mom my mom yeah yeah my that's my mom hair. um my aunt's hair that was a uh, it's crazy because it runs in a family man that I is mean, wild 2016. yeah that's this 2016. is that's no, 14 bro, 14 that's, 2014 bro, it looks so 15. vintage i thought it was like 2014-15 yeah that was like yeah, your mom was back in cambodia or something like i didn't even yeah 14-15 yeah 2014-15 um yeah actually it runs in a family like man like She's she doing she, it? she cut our hair yeah. she cut our hair when we was younger too oh, like we never really gone to a barber shop i only been to a barber shop before i became a barber it was like one time wow and i still had to fix That's my crazy. hair yeah one time That's i mean because we cut our each other hair yeah, we cut our so own like, hair this and that but that, yeah that's where it all start her, her sis, um, sister in law, sister in law. Yeah. yeah, she. That was the last time they like seen each other. Oh. Yeah, around that time. Dang. Yeah, it runs in the family, man. Like. I mean, that's awesome. And I I also, that. I have uncles that's in the, in, in Cambodia. Yeah. You know, that cut hair. He cut hair too. For real? Yeah. And this was nothing. He was, this was no planning. This wasn't oh. like you should cut hair too, or you. No, nah, like, it wasn't planned at all. It. It didn't, no, no, that's, it doesn't stop there. I mean, no, we have sisters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sisters that's a cosmetologist, does hair, nail. It's all about our, our family. It, it's Man. run deep with like that's, style that's hair and all God. that stuff. And it wasn't all planned out. <laughs> yeah. It's not like, oh, I want to be that. And then I right, set your mind and do it. No, it just kind of like eventually it end up doing, you, you know, they end up doing it. We end up doing it, you know? Yeah. Man, I love that. All right. Let's pay some bills. So. I got a coaching program in Columbus, Ohio. Well, it's in Hilliard. If you live here, you know where it's at. But um, I do like private school teaching. So the most I'll take at a time is eight. And I'm big on quality. So like I can help guys improve. I mean, I can teach them how to fight in one hour. I bet my life on that. So if you um, are learning to get in any combat sport, you're just trying to make a breakthrough. You're trying to change your life. Um, hit me up on Instagram at coach drew 88 dm me or you can even go to my um gym page it's 88 muay thai gym and if i don't get you better in a month i don't get your hands right in a month i'll give you all your money back there we go and um tell y'all what y'all what y'all got going on i know y'all got a lot going on yeah. well you know like I said, like, right now like this year honestly we i think like our shop right now is just i think we're good for the next couple of years like five yeah years or so you know mm -hmm. to yep. find room to grow but you know we have to we have to take care of one you know, so so many people it's so fast to think about the money and we have to open two shops three shops you know, mm. you, know you, gotta, you can't take care of one yeah you, care of you gotta you know yeah, exactly. we gotta build one at a time build one barbers at a time you know what i'm saying and then that goes with the quality the branding mm -hmm. and that's our name on the line we don't want to just throw a lot of barbers in there and like okay go we ain't that owner kind of owner that we're kind of like all about money we're trying to make money now we're trying to build them up for the longevity you know that. what i'm saying yeah yeah i love that I like that's like a team building up that team you know what i'm saying mm -hmm.
you know, uh, doing it like without a guy that's like straight from school. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really hard to, I feel like it's so hard to to grab guys that's been doing it for so long and changing bad habits. Mm -hmm. Just come back, coming back some more to, to, to you know, doing something the right way. Yeah, and started early, yeah. Started early, rather right. than trying to change something that's already happened. Right. Yeah. Change that. We're doing that's it for exactly the longevity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The longevity. So, like, with this being said, like, it's, it's, it's good. Like, right. he can focus on, you know, his family mm -hmm. and, then, like, his, the, the affinity, affinity brand. Yeah. And grow from that. And then, and then I got the video, the wedding videography and photography stuff mm -hmm. that, right. I, that I do with my wife. Oh, really? I yeah. didn't know that. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and that's a, and that, I mean, and that, it. And just opens doors. Yeah, it's like, a platform. Like, that goes back to what we were talking about the, with, the, with the platform. Like, yeah. we, we have clientele that are going to support us anyways, no matter what we do. Like mm. we said, we don't have to go out there and get clientele. Like, for example, yeah. my t-shirt, his video, wedding and stuff like that. It's like, uh -huh. you know, we have our clients, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Start off from that, like you know, I, I learned from doing that just by marketing ourselves here. Right. Yeah. And right. I I just start getting gear and then start making like our own videos and having visions and making my own commercials for the shop and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Right. And that's how it all balls out. And then mm -hmm. I'm like start getting compliments and then yeah, like, you learn from that, you know. Mm. And then and then doing it with my wife and then that that was the cool part too about it. Like, so um. And we're just focusing on that right now. Yeah, right. Okay. Taking care of this. This is yeah, all taking care of. Of course. Yeah. I mean, this is probably like yeah. easy to you know. Yeah. So you can yeah. take your energy, put it in other places. Uh, right, right. Places. So yeah. let them uh, let them know where they can um, find y'all at. Okay. Like on IG or you got a website? Or? Yeah. My website is Affinity Brand. You know what I mean? Check us out. You know what I mean? My IG. What's your IG? Uh, Ellis Ben, Instagram. Affinity Brand, Instagram. So, yeah. Check me out. Um, my uh, my uh, videography company is Chanley's Films. Okay. Um, I do with my wife. Um, on I that's on Chanley's Film at, on IG and Chanley's Creations on Facebook, which that will be changed soon. And uh, I'm Chan Chia on IG as well. That's kind of like my personal thing. Okay. I kind of want to separate that. You know? Yeah, yeah, same. I do the same thing. You know, then it, it's okay though. Like, yeah. It is All right. Yeah. Right now we got what seven barbers. I think our future. Y'all looking for more or is it is it nine. over? Shoot for ten. Not, well, eight nine. I would say nine. We we. It's open. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean that's so a, that's a cool part about this 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 space is like we could really kind of open it out and get nine ten barbers in here, you know. So we gotta make sure our guys like stay like nine. Oh yeah, they can. That's our motivation. Do well. And that goes to like man, like I had a couple clients with like man, uh, who's your competition like. You know, like competition. Like to be honest with you, I told him, like, man, just us, ourselves, yeah, you know, the competition. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Really. Like our parents came here with nothing, like just the clothes on their back. You know what I mean? Just yeah. uh, for for them to have, like, you know, both of the son, uh, you know what I mean, own a business, entrepreneur. Like you know what I mean? That's that's winning already, man. That's successful. That's yeah. that's a blessing. You know what I mean? Like other people who, do the same thing, right? That's that right. And we want to help other people out. We want to help other barbers out. If anything, let me help you guys out. Like you know, yeah. I got other guys too. Like yo, what do you guys do to, you know, what I mean, to open up the shop, this and that? I give them the information. You know what I mean? It's yeah. all about you know each one teach one. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. The love you know? is so it's unreal. Man, y'all really deserve all of it though. One hundred percent. And we give back the love, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, we, we, we stay humble, like, we, we stay in our lane. Like you said, like, we're only competing against ourselves, yeah. not nobody else. Yeah. yeah. We didn't care about how many barbershops around us. We, we kind of just did what we wanted to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Trust the craft, trust the process. We listen to music we want to listen to. Mm -hmm. Do what we like to do. And then, mm -hmm. you know, everything just, like... Fell in the place. Yeah. It's, it's yep. all stuff. It all worked out, man. It all worked out, so... All right, well, I appreciate y'all's time, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all barbers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I'm not sick of it. I got you. I got you. <laughs>